What's good, family? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, from InstantClassicProductions.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the best computer for recording music slash best computer for making hip-hop beats with my two cents. Alright, I'm back. In this video, we're going to talk about the best computer for recording music slash best computer for making hip-hop beats with. Um, basically, when you're looking at a computer or looking for a new computer, you want to look at four main things. Uh, and I'm not going to do this in any order, but the first, one of the things you need to look into when you're looking for a new computer for recording music is your hard drive space. Now, your hard drive, uh, I would normally recommend that you get at least a one terabyte hard drive to start with, okay? Uh, if not, if you can afford, I would get even two terabyte hard drive, and I'll tell you why. Today, we live in an age, well, let's start with back in the day. Back in the day, we didn't need as much hard drive space as we needed today, because back in the day, when we started making beats, well, when I, when I started making beats in 1999 and 2001, it was basically, the setup for us was a Cork Triton uh, with the MPC 2000 XL or MPC 2000, or um, I even had the AS ASRX, uh, the Pro Joint, and you would make beats on that, you would record them on the computer, you would track them out on the computer, and um, that would be it. Uh, we didn't have too much as far as plugins, and the plugins weren't as, I shouldn't say we didn't have as much, the plugins weren't as huge as they are today. Today's today's plugins, you can get a plugin today that's 100 gigabytes worth of, that takes up 100 gigabytes worth of space alone. All right. So um, make sure that your at least your internal is at least one terabyte, and I would suggest you get at least a two terabyte, uh, simply because we live in the age of video, and video takes up a lot more space than audio does. Um, so yeah, when you when you're doing when you're looking for a new computer, make sure your your hard drive is at least a two terabyte, and then not only ha make sure your two terabyte you have a two terabyte hard drive internal, but make sure you at least get an external. Uh, the external hard drive is going to be used to put all your sounds onto. When you start uploading and downloading, what? Well, I gotta say this. When you start installing your plugins, they're gonna ask you some questions when you start installing the plugins like um, where do you where do you want to install the actual plugin you usually install that on your C drive or your main hard drive and then it asks you where do you want to install your sounds now try not to install the sounds on the internal hard drive it's just gonna take up a lot more space than it needs to and it's gonna slow your computer down tremendously after a while so get your external hard drive and when the plugin asks you to where do you want to install your sound library? Let's say you get battery four, or let's say you got contact five, and it says, where do you want to install the plugins, uh, the plugin sound library? Install those to a separate hard drive. Get like a three terabyte hard drive. Um, I made another video about the hard drive I use to, to install my sounds to. I'll put a link in the description to that video. Um, but yeah, make sure you have a large hard drive, at least one to two terabytes internal and at least two to three terabytes external, okay? Just because you don't want to run out of space. You don't want to be like me right now. I'm running out of space on my hard drive right now. My computer's a little bit more old, a little older now. Uh, but it was, a, it was a nice iMac. I had it for about five years. I'm about to upgrade to the iMac. I'm about to link you to in the description here. Um, but yeah, that's that's thing number one. I ain't mean to go too in depth with the, with the hard drive bit. Uh, next thing you want to look for is a uh, a good processor. A computer with a good processor. Uh, typically, you want to get like an i5. Uh, if money allows, I would get an i7 just because it's a lot faster. And make sure you get a quad core, not a dual core. Get a quad core if you can. A quad core is going to run a lot faster, uh, make your system run a lot faster. Uh, you're gonna experience a, a lot less uh, lag and a lot less issues with an i7 quad core for recording your music with, okay? 
Um, your, your i7, your i5 is like your brain of your computer. That's like uh, where all the processing is done. Uh, you want to make sure you have enough uh, processing where when you start to run your Pro Tools or your Cubase, that it doesn't slow down, it doesn't like stop, it doesn't shut down or quit on you automatically or something crazy like that, okay? Um, what's the next thing? I had a whole bunch of stuff here. Give me a second. Uh, let's see. Next thing you want to look at would be the RAM, okay? The RAM, your plugins are going to be huge. These plugins today in 2018 are huge. And when you load your plugins from your, your hard drive is where your plugins are installed to. Um, but when you actually load a plugin, let's say you double click a, pl a plugin, like contact or something, that plugin gets loaded from your hard drive into RAM. So if you're using Cubase, that's loaded already into RAM. Contact's gonna be loaded into RAM. Battery's gonna be loaded into RAM. Machine's gonna be loaded into RAM. <laughs> Whatever plugins you're gonna be using are gonna be loading into RAM. So you need to have a lot of RAM to uh, RAM or what they call random access memory, okay? Uh, that's your memory to just make sure that everything can run smoothly in your in your computer. You could run a lot more things at one time if you have a lot more RAM. Uh, I would recommend you get at least a minimum eight gigs of RAM, eight gigabytes of RAM. And if your pocket allows, try to get 16. If you get 16 gigabytes of RAM, your computer's gonna be really good for a long, long time, okay? Uh, and the last thing, if you're gonna look at an iMac or uh, or a, maybe a, a MacBook, look at the, uh, the the fourth thing I would look at would be the screen space or the screen size. Um, as they say, size is everything. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'd rather have a 15 inch <laughs> or 17 inch uh, MacBook than a than a 12. Okay. Um, my iMac over here is about a 19. I wish I had a 27. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but yeah, you can just, it's a lot better when you have a lot more real estate. You can see a lot more things. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my review. Uh, that's my tips on uh, when you go to buy your, ne your next computer. Look for those things that I just talked about. Make sure if it was me and, and I'm going out to buy a computer right now, and I had tons of money to blow. Things I'm gonna look for in my computer are, I'm gonna look for, first of all, I'm gonna look for a Mac if I can. If you're familiar with, if you're more familiar with PCs and feel comfortable with PCs, be my guest. Um, I haven't had much luck with them. I have a PC sitting here in the closet. Uh, man, it just gave me a lot of headache. When I switched to Mac, my whole world changed. I haven't had a problem I got my Mac in 2012. I haven't had a problem since. Never, never. When I tell you, my only problem now is the amount of hard drive space I have, and I and I upgraded my hard drive for that. So, so yeah. Um, real quick, I'm just gonna show you, just to show you, I'm, I do practice what I preach, and I do have an iMac myself. I'm gonna take you over here to my iMac real quick, just to show you, and uh, give me a second, okay? We're gonna head to my studio. All right, as you can see here, here's my iMac. And on my iMac, I run Cubase as my recording software. And this is pretty much my setup. This is everything, this is everything I use, pretty much. This, this, I have my Yamaha HS8 speakers. I have my machine. I have my audio interface, which is the Focusrite Scarlett 8i6. I have a couple hard drives here. And I have my MIDI controller here. That is my whole studio. But the main thing, just to show you, is that this is my iMac that I use for recording uh, recording music with, okay? It's a great investment. Um, I would highly recommend it for anybody who's looking to start recording, uh, start home recording, and start a studio of any sort. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me. My, man, uh, my name is Jimmy Conway from ThisBigClassicProductions.com. If you like the content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. 
I will leave a link to everything that I talked about in this video from the iMac. Uh, I'll leave a link to the Yamaha HSH. I'll leave a link to the machine, the Focusrite, and my MIDI controller. Okay, that's my whole studio, but it all starts with the iMac, okay? That is, that is the centerpiece of my whole studio right here. I'm about to upgrade this one. I'm about to upgrade this iMac to the iMac that I link you to in the description below, okay? It's gonna be a high power iMac, but you can also, you can, you can make changes when you get to the, um, when you get to the site. Uh, disclaimer, I do get a slight commission uh, if you do buy through my link. Uh, if you felt like this content was helpful, please uh, buy through the link. It will help me keep up my YouTube channel and my website. And I would really appreciate it um, highly. Thank you. Um, if you have any questions, reach out. This is Jimmy Conway from InstantClassicProductions.com. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or any comments. And I'll see you. I'll see you on the inside. Peace. And love.